Boeing Starliner capsule is on its way home this week, but the two astronauts who piloted the spacecraft will stay behind. Mike Emanuel explains why. Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff of Starliner at Atlas V. After its eight-day mission turned into a much longer one, Boeing Starliner is scheduled to undock from the International Space Station Friday night with no astronauts on board. Today, the Boeing team powered on Starliner systems and performed a variety of pre-undock activities. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore were supposed to stay in space for about a week in June to test Boeing's new spacecraft, but a series of thruster malfunctions and helium leaks made returning on the Starliner too risky. Instead, NASA says the pair will head back to Earth next year on board a SpaceX crew mission. They already started participating and really helping us out on board station. Um, they've done over 42 experiments. Boeing expects the Starliner to land in New Mexico on Saturday morning. The company says its engineers have been working with NASA to update the spacecraft systems and prepare it for a pilotless return flight. And there's an urgency to get this right. The capsule must be off the ISS before late September when that SpaceX flight is scheduled to arrive. For all the core functions that Starliner must do to safely get away from ISS, those are capabilities that will be executed by Boeing's flight control team through their software. NASA hoped the Starliner would provide another option for shuttling astronauts to the space station, but now its future as a reliable vehicle is uncertain. In Washington, Mike Emanuel, Fox News.